The minivan was designed with families in mind, but it also revolutionized travel for people in wheelchairs. From the outside, the van will look no different, but inside the modifications will be major. The total revamp starts with the removal of the van's middle and third row seats. They pull out the carpet and completely strip the vehicle from the front seats to the back. Underneath, a technician saws off the exhaust system and disassembles the rear suspension. The entire undercarriage behind the engine is about to be reconfigured to make way for a new lowered floor. The team also removes the 20-gallon fuel tank. They'll replace it with one of the same capacity to fit the new configuration. They cut out a large section of floor and relocate displaced wiring. They're now ready to roll the new floor framework into position below the vehicle. This steel structure replaces the original one and is strong enough to support the additional weight of a wheelchair. A motorized one can weigh as much as four adults. They slide the new steel floor into the vehicle and lower it into the framework. The new floor is significantly lower than the one the van came with and it increases the wheelchair passenger's headroom by about 10 to 15 inches. After installing the new fuel tank, suspension, and exhaust systems, they return to the interior. A technician fits and bonds carpet under padding to the van. With the back of the van rebuilt and carpeted, they now ready the wheelchair ramp. A technician applies a gritty material with an adhesive backing. He simply presses it to the ramp and smooths out any air bubbles. This gritty material will provide a slip-resistant surface for the wheelchair to move across. The team then links the wheelchair ramp to the new floor with a long hinge. They install stainless steel trim over the hinge to protect it and also connect the counterbalance cables to the ramp. The wheelchair converted van is now ready for a test drive. The operator unfolds the ramp He folds away the new seats to make way for the wheelchair. He extends the tie-down belts and attaches them to the wheelchair. He wheels the passenger into the van, locks the wheelchair brakes, and ties the chair to the floor. There are standard seat belts to fasten, and then it's time to sit back and enjoy the ride. Seated in the converted minivan, the individual can now experience the freedom of the road.